Hi, my name is Alana, and welcome to my room. I'm currently in my second year of university, and that meant I had to find a flat and move in. I moved into my current flat in September of 2022, and it's been a journey ever since. Growing up, I've always dreamt of having the Pinterest perfect room, and hence, watch me move into the ultimate girlies flat with two of my best friends. <laughs> and watch me curate my dream room. So let's start from the beginning. 12th of September, 2022 was the day that we moved into our new flat. I remember this day like it was yesterday. It's crazy to see how much this place has changed. This is my room and it's so crazy to see the original layout of the room. And honestly, for the price and location and the space that we got, we got extremely lucky with the place that we found. The first thing we did was obviously sort our boxes and unpack because oh my goodness, I swear each of us had like 10 boxes to ourselves. Oh, I'm vlogging. Does it have to vlog? So this is Vish and this is Junshin. Helping me move in, very sweet of them. The feeling of getting off a 16 hour flight to an empty home and unpacking 10 boxes and kind of just figuring everything out with no cleaning supplies, that was an experience. So, first order of business, we went to Wokos. Guys, literally, how fucking cute. The moment we've all been waiting for. What is a moving vlog without an IKEA montage? Good morning, all. The girls and I are going to IKEA today. We just moved in yesterday, but we are gonna go get some cleaning supplies first. Where well, the forecast said it was gonna rain today, but this is the fit. We just made a list of currently all the things we kind of need for the house. Um, this is just a rough list, but we're going to IKEA to kind of finalize things. Okay, I think us girls can agree that literally going to Ikea and going furniture shopping sites us all. We got so lost in here and we literally spent the whole day just shopping. And the pastel plates and furniture did not help us. I'm so tired. Three small girls, why do we need so much shit? Never get it, they will never get it. I went to Ikea today. First day I got the infamous mullet clothing rack because it finally came in stock. Got some under the bed storage. I also got some more closet um, to hang in the closet because I have nowhere to store my clothes. This little side table situation. So I'm thinking of putting all my makeup in here. I think it'll be really nice. I then decided to cave in to get the infamous headboard. Very cute. I have a bag of just like hangers and stuff. I also got a new chair. Case of for sponsoring this portion of the video. They sent me an amazing box with four phone cases for me to showcase with you guys. So let's get started with this unboxing. Caseify is the world's most popular tech accessory brand known for their protective phone cases and global collaborations. These are so freaking cute, you guys. As you guys know, I used to have a phone case that was really similar to this, so yeah, I love that. So the impact case provides 8.2 feet of drop protection. And that's amazing for someone like me because I literally drop my phone every two seconds because I, I'm i just like that. The cases are also made up to 65% of recycled material because it reduces 20% of carbon emission. And for those who have the iPhone 12, I believe, or like the iPhone 13 and above, they offer these cases with a MagSafe function, which I think is great. This is so cute guys, what the hell? You're also allowed to customize your phone cases and even add your initials. They also have over 300,000 prints for you to choose from, designed by local artists. Alright, so shall we try the drop test? So I'm probably just gonna drop it off from here and then we're just gonna see whether it works.
my phone is still in amazing shape. Even my dusty ass like screen protector is still intact and my camera is still perfectly fine. So yeah. They also get this really cool snake chain phone strap and you can attach it to your phone like so. This is amazing because you don't really have to hold your phone, you can just wear it. Carry your phone everywhere, hassle and hands-free with the adjustable two-layer phone strap. This is really, really cool. Thank you so much, Caseify, for sponsoring this portion of the video. And do not forget to head over to caseify.com slash elnashi for 15% off your purchases. And yeah, let's get on with the video. So we just came back. <laughs> this is a good thing. These two storage containers from Primark Home from my underwear. <laughs> this like mid- Sorry. Mid- <laughs> Stop! Guessing me up so much. <laughs> This is our sofa right now. It's just plain white. Just came back from IKEA and we got some turquoise colored rose. Shopping for my room literally on AliExpress right now. This is currently the situation of my desk. Not very aesthetic, but kind of want to just get like a big mirror or something, some decor, some more things to so just kind of like clean up this area. I kind of want to get one of these like mushroom lamps because I think they're really, really freaking cool. Something like this, maybe. This. Ah. <sighs> I don't really know what to do. This is my desk right now. Not really organized, but I was thinking of putting in this little cubby over here, like a little mini lamp. So like when you enter my room, that like you see that little lamp over there, which I think is really, really cute. Maybe like resting on top there, on top there for some reason. I already kind of have my night lamp sorted out. Like this area is more or less sorted. I just have to change my bedding a bit. So all I'm missing right now is just to spice up my desk area. So I don't know what to get. This could be quite nice, but I don't know whether I want want a green or a pink and then there's this little cute like heart so I was thinking this little mirror I could like hang on my pegboard because I've seen like photos online where people put this little heart over into their pegboard it's so cute A 
Okay, so spending years on Pinterest, I kind of had a rough idea on what I wanted my room to look like. It's very pink, very white, very Nordic inspired. I needed a pink bed. Like, I didn't care. I just needed a pink bed. More specifically, I needed like a bubble lamp, like a mushroom, a bubble lamp, something really funky, really cute. So the hunt began, and this is a list of items I needed to get for my room. You guys! My lamp came from AliExpress, and I'm so excited! Literally, like, how cute is she? Oh my gosh guys, after like 10,000 years, I finally was able to set up my little lantern. <gasps> oh my goodness, I'm in love. It's so cute. Hey guys, so it's been a minute, but basically I was on a hunt for the perfect mirror on Facebook Marketplace and I managed to find two. So these are just the IKEA mirrors that we found and honestly, like... Um, this one and a bigger one. So I'm getting this one for my room and then the bigger one's gonna be for the house The only problem is the frames are black and my flatmates and I kind of agreed to paint them white So literally amazing coming in literally the next half hour. So that's gonna be very interesting I also found another mirror it's literally the IKEA Hobbit mirror. Price is really, really good for how much it's worth. The only problem is with this one is that it is sadly cracked. I don't know how I feel about bringing bad luck into my room for the next how many freaking years. Uh, as of right now, I have no space for bad luck. So yeah, that's the situation. I'll let you guys know when the mirror's here. Oh my goodness, guys. My new mirror has come and I just kind of gave it a little bit of a wipe down. It used to have frames, but I just kind of took it off because it was kind of breaking apart anyway. I kind of like it without the frames though. I think it just looked a lot more seamless and especially on this side, like it just looks a lot more like crisp and clean. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. ways to display my handbags in my room but it was a bit sticky because I kind of wanted to do like a handbag wall like this but it was a bit hard because my property is pretty strict we are not allowed to paste anything on the wall I came up with a solution and I ended up buying I got these little sticky hooks that I'm not gonna attach to the wall but instead I'm gonna attach it along like my cupboards and stuff like that I think I might make this my little bag wall we could try I mean I think it'll look pretty cool My goodness, I am obsessed with this little corner. <gasps> I also really like this corner just because I feel like it's so much easier to organize my tote bag and it just looks so much neater. Of eBay and I got this rug for nine pounds. Oh my goodness, I'm literally so obsessed. Isn't this so cute? Personally, I think this area of my room is pretty empty, so I might just put the rug over here. Okay, so how does everyone feel about this? I think it's kind of coming together. So cute. I love this star rug. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, 
this is gonna be the long-awaited room tour I still remember filming the first part of this video back when I first moved in and I really hope you guys enjoyed the whole process of me just buying everything and really just seeing my room come together but I feel like I finally built my dream room I spend a lot of my time in my room and I feel like because it is my safe space I wanted to curate it or make it as comfortable as possible and I feel like I did a pretty good job I feel like my room really reflects who I am as a person I'm just really excited to show you guys the completed room tour my room is really not that big it really only has three key points where I showcase in all my videos but I'm ready to just do a completed room tour for you guys so explaining where I got everything specifically because I feel like a lot of you guys have been asking me yeah let's Let's start with the tour. Alright, so when you enter the room, this is kind of like what you kind of look at. So onto my left is just my full length mirror, followed up by my desk. And then I have this huge window, which I absolutely love. You guys see me film a bunch of videos in this angle. And I love sitting on this little cubby thing in the mornings. So I have my bed and my little side table. And then when you turn immediately onto your right, you kind of have my clothing rack all up on my cupboard. And then when you look down, these are all my shoes. And then we're gonna circle back to the door. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is my full-length mirror. I got this full-length mirror off Facebook Marketplace. It came with a frame, but the frame kind of broke off, so I kind of took it off. Kind of gives like a really clean-edged look to the mirror, which I really like. And then moving on to the right, I have my full-length tripod. Moving down, I have my little Uggs, and then my little mini vacuum that I got from Amazon as well. Best thing ever. It's really good when it comes to like cleaning up my desk. Okay, now we're moving on to the details of my desk. I got this lamp on AliExpress. I'll try and link as much decor in the description box down below. It has three light settings, so you can light it up as neutral, white, or warm. Moving on, I have this little twisting jewelry thing that I also got from AliExpress. So at the top here, I have my silver jewelry, and then moving down, I have my gold. And then my last, I have my pastel resin wirings. I think it's a really cool way to display my jewelry, and I've been eyeing this little decor for a long time. Next, I have my everyday perfume, which is perfume from Zara. It's the Elegantly Tokyo, and honestly, this is my favorite, favorite perfume. Perfume, guys. I've been trying to gatekeep this for the longest time, but it's so good. Power bank. So just like my journaling notebook. I then have this water bottle from Morgan Stanley because I was their campus ambassador. My Mac mouse. This is just a little fake plant display. I think I got the vase from Ikea. I think these were just from Vinted. I got them for like five pounds, but like they're amazing. Next, I have this little keyboard organizer. This is my MacBook case. I think I got this back in Malaysia. Pretty sure you can get it on eBay as well. This is my pegboard. I've changed my pegboard decor. So so many times in the past few months of making this video. This is the current setup right now. So this pegboard's from Ikea. Over here I kind of keep like my measuring tape, nail clippers, here I keep all my cables, and here I just keep all my hair tie. And this little thing, it kind of holds like my highlighters, my pens, my calculator, but also my lipstick. So I think this is just a really versatile. Moving on to this tray, I love this tray. It's so cute, very aesthetic, very me. Um, I just kind of have my favorite go-to lip glosses. I have my Laneige lip mask, I have my lip oil, some Essie nail polish. This, my boyfriend actually got me some Vivian West wood earrings so I just gonna keep the box here I have my cream my little face roller and I also have this perfume from Victoria's Secret I have my headphones some pictures and I have my famous Robert Pattinson GQ magazine that I got last year because slay moving on I have this lamp from also from Ikea it's a clip-on lamp and it's really convenient I literally use this in all my videos I also use it when I study at night moving on to this section I would say it's really messy but I try and organize it the best way I can so up here I just have my bags, I have my palm springs, my little black cloud bag. I have this crystal that I got from Malaysia. I have my film camera and these are just perfumes that are more on like special occasions. So I have my Jo Malone English pair and I have this one. I think it was a BTS collaboration. It's really good but it's just a bit strong for me. I tend to reach out to my English pair more often nowadays. Moving on to this section and I have my Mugler bag and then behind that I have my diesel bag. And then I have my sunglasses. These two from AliExpress. I got this one on Vinted and this is probably one of my faves. It's kind of like it's vintage Dior and I love it so so much. I got it on Vinted about a year ago. I have my notebooks, my phone cases. Moving down here is probably the messiest part of my room. I have my laptop case with the matching little cable pouch. I use this pretty often when I go study. I have my Sony headphone case and then here I just tried like organizing it the best way I can but I have my hard disk where I edit all my videos on this and then below that I just have more adapters and whatnot. 
up here, I just kind of have my snow boots. I have my bag that I got in the Whole Foods in London. I have this really amazing sunset lamp that I got from Shein. It's so, so good, guys. I'll link this one down below. I also have my iconic red cowboy boots. Just another fake plant that came with the other one over there. I also hung up my bags at the side over here. I love the sunset lamp so much. It just adds more personality to the already pop of color area. Moving on to this little section, I just kind of put miscellaneous things, but I have my makeup mirror, my little ordinary hair mask, my hair oil, my eyebrow tweezer, my eyelash curler, photo my family. And then moving on to this side, I have my disco ball that I got last year and I love the effect the disco ball has on my room. It kind of makes everything sparkle. Love that. Next, I was kindly sent this vase from Potato Shop, I think. They're basically a small business based in London and they kind of do 3D printing on really cute vases like this, so I'll definitely link them down below. Next, I have my fan. Love my fan. This mini fan is also from Amazon. I got this three-layer roller cubby from Ikea. My salt lamp is from Amazon, my iPad, and then I have my AirPods. And this is just kind of the remote for my sunset lamp. The first cubby is my makeup drawer. Second, I would say it's like probably fake eyelashes, some hair gel, cables. The last is just like my hair appliances. So I have my Dyson, my hairspray, my heat protectant. Very, very useful. I really do like this cubby. Got it from Ikea. Amazing. Moving on to my bed. This large green throw is from Primark. It just came out in the spring collection. So guys, please go get it if you like this color. I bought three different types of blankets when it came to making this video and I finally settled on this one and I sold the others off. But this is the perfect shade of green because I have so many sets of bedding. So this is really my favorite one and I love the color and shade of green in this one. It took me forever to find the perfect shade of green and I'm so happy that I was able to get it. Bed sheet is from Shein. Duvet, also from Shein. My bright pink pillowcases were from Next, I think. And also my star rug. I got this star fur rug on eBay actually for £9, which is amazing. My little tata is in the corner as well. Next we have my cupboard. Nothing much I can say about this. Pretty standard. Another sticker thing to hang my tote bags. I have my luggage and some more travel bags. So I try my best to color coordinate my coats from the darkest to lightest. So I kind of have, I have my puffer from weekday. This is my everyday puffer. This trench from Zara. Another leather jacket. And this new leather jacket that I got from Paris. I got this grey kind of like teddy jacket from AliExpress. This puffer was from Pull and Bear and it was supposed to be the North Face dupe. This other leather jacket from Zara. I got this green Sherpa teddy fleece from Uniqlo. This varsity jacket was thrifted and Delix Retails kindly sent them to me so thank you so much. I got this super long trench from Vinted. It's actually Stradivarius but yeah this is probably my favorite spring trench as of right now. But yeah that's basically my clothing rack. Down here I have my shoe collection and honestly it's nothing much. Like I'm not gonna go too in depth on my shoes. And finally we're back to my doors. My cream tote from Primark. As you guys know, I wear this all the time. And then behind, I just have more totes. So I have a Morgan Stanley tote and just like my business school tote. That is basically the 360 of my room. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm so happy with how my room came out and it literally took me forever to film this because I didn't want to rush buying everything immediately. It definitely took months of just buying things along the way. And yeah, definitely a project I've been working on for so long. Yeah, thank you so, so much for watching this video. And give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.